again. Now it's mimicking a jellyfish. Jelly. Now it's a, oh, a banded soul. A banded soul? It's a stingray. Banded soul. Stingray. Soul. Band ray. Jellyfish. Sting jelly. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Arr. What is it? Turkey, a turkey. What? Hit subscribe and click the like icon. What am I? Easy, a chicken. Next. A tiger. Arf, arf, arf. Uh, um, uh, a mouse? Huh? A hero? Time's up. It's a dog. A dog. Oh, how could I have missed that? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. I'm compiling a list for my Junior Ranger handbook, and I need your help. Sure thing, Farah. What's the list about? Have you heard of the Mimic Octopus? A Mimic Octopus? Here's a photo of it. It looks like an ordinary octopus. But it can disguise itself to look like another animal. It's really tricky to spot, and I need your help to find it. You can count on us. We'll be right over. Excellent. See you guys soon. Ranger out. The Mimic Octopus. The Mimic Octopus can be found in shallow, murky waters of the Indo-Pacific region. In its original form, it is light brown in color. But the Mimic Octopus is a master of disguise. It can change its appearance and behavior to look like other animals. Wow, I hope we get to see its transformations. Only if we find the octopus first. Bara to Leo, over. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Once you find the Mimic Octopus, tell me everything it mimics. I'll write it down in my handbook. You got it, Farah. Now remember, the Mimic Octopus can be anything. So keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry, I won't be fooled. Aha, I bet this is a Mimic Octopus disguised as a... Uh... An anemone? <gasps> that was fast. Anemone. Anemones are marine creatures that look like flowers and are related to corals. That's not a mimic octopus, Leo. It's a real anemone. Oops, <laughs> you're right, Katie. Sorry, Farah. False alarm. That was not a mimic octopus disguised as an anemone. It's not? Okay, no anemone then. Let's look somewhere else. The mimic octopus could be anything. Hmm, I wonder. What are you doing, Katie? Done. I just installed a scanner from my computer. We can identify animals and plants now. Huh? It says here that the coral is human. Is there something wrong with the program? Hello, Junior Ranger. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was practicing my mimicry by pretending to be a coral. What are you rangers doing here? We're trying to find out what creatures the Mimic Octopus mimics. Ah, the master of disguise. While the Mimic Octopus is not venomous, it is able to mimic other creatures that are venomous. By doing that, the octopus tricks others into thinking it's venomous and protects itself from danger. So, we should look out for venomous creatures. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Where did he go? His mimicry worked. But now we have a mimic octopus to find. What's that, hero? It's on the move again. Now it's mimicking a jellyfish. Jelly. Now it's a, oh, a banded soul. A banded soul? It's a stingray. Banded soul. Stingray. Soul. Band ray. Jellyfish. Sting jelly. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Arr. What is it? Turkey. A turkey. What? I think it's a turkey. Turkeys don't live in the ocean, Leo. 
a special underwater turkey? Huh? Now it's walking. <laughs> what about a duck? Ducks don't live in the ocean either. I agree. That's obviously not a duck. Farah, you're here. I had to see this for myself. Besides, my handbook was getting very messy. Oops, sorry. I still think it's a turkey. Nah, it looks like an underwater mushroom to me. Oh, oh, fried chicken? How about some algae? An underwater furball? It's obviously a... Wait, where did the octopus go? It's disguised itself again. Could it be that rock? I'll use my scanner. That's a rock. That's a rock, too. Still rock. Or that seaweed? The ocean floor? It could be anything. Coming right at you, Katie. I got it. <gasps> Katie, are you OK? Yeah. Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Katie come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is, the African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh no! Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important. But baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aww, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no. He is trapped. Hang on. We'll get you out. 
Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. <gasps> oh no. <sighs> he is all right. Uh oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers, let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's going to take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes! All right. We did it! We turned that frown upside down. Bye, Bye elephants. elephants! Whoa there! Aww. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? See you on the other side, Zumi. It is on! Ooh. What was that? Those are not rocks. They are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Junior Ranger Jane, what's up? Hello, Leo. Something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swamped with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm, that is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here it is. The hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. We'll just have to head there to find out why. Oh. Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one! There's a huge lake just over that hill! Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look! It's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. The weather has been a lot warmer this year. And it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would. But what's this about the hippos? They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, 
and reads. I've got it. I know how we can hurt them. All right, hang tight, Rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here. Enjoy. Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate! Hang on, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be okay. Excuse me, coming through. Gotta get a baby hippo back to its mom. Whoa! Hang on, guys! I got you! Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Uh oh. Stop! Don't fight! Break it up! It was just an accident! Oh no! We are sinking! What do we do now? Activate flight mode! The wings will keep us afloat! Got it! Platypus one, activate! It's the Mama Hippo! Leave it to me, Junior Rangers! <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Pardon me! Sorry! Pardon me! Go to Mama! Yay! Now let's get out of here! I love a happy ending! Mission accomplished! Hit subscribe and click the like icon!